Grab your clubs, we're going to figure out which vehicle makes the best golf ball. As the intro suggests, we are going to test and see which vehicle performs the best when launched by Pulse Nobelisks. This is all part of my plan to create golf and satisfactory, or as I like to call it, Pulse Golf. First, we're going to test out to see how far we can fling the factory cart. For each of these tests, we're going to start with one Nobelisk underneath the back of the vehicle to help launch it up, and two behind to push it forward. So we're going to do 10 of these tests for each of the vehicles, and we're going to see how far they go. So after 10 tests, our factory cart traveled an average of 134 meters. Uh, the shortest distance was 96, the longest distance was 208. And for the most part, it flies quite well. Uh, there's some variability depending on how the cart lands because sometimes it will balance a fair distance. Overall, I'd say this is probably a good vehicle for a more advanced player to give it a little bit of variability when you're on the course. For test two, we're going to move on to the tractor to see how far this flies after 10 tests. After 10 launches, the tractor traveled an average of 143 meters. The furthest was 172. The shortest distance for the tractor was 124. Uh, overall, as you can see, it lands quite accurately. Pretty much, you know, once it lands, it doesn't bounce too far. Uh, so this would be an excellent choice for any beginner players. Next up, we're going to test the Explorer. which really doesn't go that far. I decided to stop after only five tests of the Explorer because it, it's pretty obvious that using three explosives, it just doesn't go very far. It only averaged 51 meters over those five tests. If I doubled the amount of explosives, then I was able to get an explorer to go 144 meters which is about the average of everything else so I'm just gonna say it's not an ideal vehicle because it just takes so much more to launch at the same distance next up we're gonna test the truck and it seems like it's also a very heavy vehicle that might not go as far <laughs> well, it's accurate. I can give it that, but this seems like it's the same deal as the Explorer. It doesn't go very far. It's just too heavy. But just to make sure, we've uh, added a lot more Noblisks. And it goes the same distance as before. Okay, truck is absolutely not a viable option. It doesn't go very far at all. If the trucks bounced off each other and glitched away, this most certainly will after a couple launches. That was also a really bad launch. It seems like as we get into some of the heavier and other vehicle options, they just don't work as well. Um, the, I mean, the factory car and the tractor worked perfectly. But once we get some of these other options, they just don't perform very well. Let me get one more. The Cyber Wagon only traveled like 50 meters, maybe. Not very far. And it did not have a very satisfying arc. It just kind of like flew drifted forward and didn't go anywhere. And what happens if we had more explosives? Not much further at all. Definitely not an ideal vehicle. Things are gonna get ridiculous now. We're gonna see if we can even fling one of these. 
Um, <laughs> I might need a lot. Uh, five? Let's see what five does. Nothing. Um, sticks to it. Any more? No. Okay. <laughs> Crash trains are not affected by Nobelisks, which is a shame. Because it'd be really fun to time a tr crash so that train cars fly even further. Uh, unfortunately, trains are not affected. And with that, we have our winners. The factory cart and the tractor, the best two vehicles to play pulse golf with. The tractor is a little better for beginners because it flies a little more accurately and travels just a little bit further. But the factory cart's got a fun bounce that can kind of mix things up. So when I design the full course, it's going to be designed so that you can use either vehicle. And when you start the game, you can choose. So let's move on to our next test. We're going to give each of these vehicles a real world test and try them on our test golf course. All right, so let's tee off with each of these vehicles. We'll start up with the tractor and launch. Looks like it goes a good distance. A little bit of a bounce and a roll. And lands on his wheels. That was a good hit. And let's see how this one goes. Oh boy! That was a good one. Oh, are we going to have to go around that rock? No. Okay. Not bad. Uh, oh boy. How am I going to get around this rock? <laughs> okay. So the one difference between... Um, trying it out on the course and the driving range is after you tee off, you cannot pick up the vehicle again or park it on top of the Nobelisks. So you need to do your best to place your three Nobelisks, or two if you only want to use two, uh, where you want without parking the vehicle in the ideal spot on top. So when you're on the course, you might not get as much height as you would teeing off. But, I mean, when you're on a standard golf course... Uh, and you're hitting from the fairway, you're not going to get as good of a hit as you, if you were teeing off. And here we go. And you can see it didn't quite get the same amount as height. Oh, That's going to be a pain to hit from. That one didn't get the, quite the same amount of height as it did from the tee. So the factory cart. This is going to be tricky because it's on its side. Um... You know what? I'll say, you know, as the same with mini golf, you can pull your ball away from the wall. I'll say that if you're on the course, uh, you can put your vehicle the right way up. Okay, uh, so that's kind of to the right, so that's definitely going to knock that cart off. Okay, we want the cart to go this way. Yeah, because noblists don't detonate all at the same time, so that first one's going to push it off that way, so hopefully these other ones can push it a little more this way, although now that I'm looking at it, it's the whole thing's going to go to the left, so, well, here we go. Oh, that was quite good. It was quite good. After two hits, they're both within approach distance to the hole. So, since we're here, let's give the factory cart another go and here we go a lot of roll looks like we are on the green we're heading from the, uh, from the rough as we'll say if this is the fairway but still got a nice straight shot so I'm gonna put this one here we're gonna go back and we're gonna do two Uh, three total, two in the back. And let's see where it goes. Ooh! So far it seems like... 
give this one a little upright. Uh, it seems like you can use either vehicle fairly reliably. And we're only going to use two here. I probably shouldn't put that one as close. When putting, um, you still want to use at least two because one... Here, I'll do a little demonstration. If you put down a tractor and you only... I did this in the wrong order. Okay, we'll come back to you. Let's see where this goes. Just bounced off. Shoot. Okay. When you only use one Nobelisk, you see it barely goes anywhere at all. Yeah, the tiniest bit of movement. Um, you know, you want to use multiple Nobelists because the first one will kind of lift and break the item, break the vehicle away from the ground, whereas the second one gives it that push that it needs. Uh, and if you don't want as much push, you just have to place your second one further away, or maybe even your first further away. Now the factory cart, I'm going to put and I am kind of just using an educated guess. Uh, the first one will break, the second one will push. Let's see if it goes in. Hopefully it doesn't go too far. It went nowhere. Okay, too far away. It's a learning experience. There we go. Ooh, that was nice and clean. Okay. Okay, so two gives you a nice putt on the factory card. Yeah, it's down there somewhere. Okay. And with this, we're going to do one there. And then we're going to go further back. And hopefully it should give just enough. Uh, and we'll probably use the pole as a backboard. And there we go. It's in. That was five strokes. Uh, three to get to the green, one mess up on the green, which would have been four. Yeah, five into the hole. I hope you enjoyed this scientific test. We've learned a lot about how these vehicles interact with pulse nobelisks. But the fun's not over yet. I've got a much more extreme test to do. So keep an eye out for part two.